You may be asking yourself, Mary Jane, where are you? Oh, um, I'm in Switzerland and it's five o'clock in the morning. And I can't get a taxi, so I've got to walk to my hotel 40 minutes. So I, I don't really want to talk about it. Let's just go. Okay. I'm not in the mood to talk about it, so. I'm so happy to be back in Switzerland. Look at those views. Woo! You may be asking yourself, Mary Jane, where are you? Oh, um, I'm in Switzerland and it's five o'clock in the morning and I can't get a taxi. So I've got to walk to my hotel 40 minutes. So I, I don't really want to talk about it. Let's just go. Okay. I'm not in the mood to talk about it. So Woo. already views already. Just go. Guys, I'm in Switzerland. Switzerland. Guys, I'm planning my lunch, and I love the supermarkets here in Switzerland. Like, you don't even need to go find a place to eat. You can literally. Oh my God, they have only good eat. Oh my God, hold on. So I'm in the chocolate aisle in the grocery store in Switzerland, which is very dangerous, but I only got myself a few of these, but I'm thinking about getting some for you guys. Let me see. This is sweet. I love these. Grocery store right behind me. And uh, if you guys have been following me long enough, you know that I stayed in Switzerland last year for three months. And when I tell you, every single day of those three months, I was eating this, the most delicious yogurt. I can't even explain to you what it tastes like. The most delicious yogurt on planet Earth. And I just went in there and bought it again for the first time. I can't wait to go eat it. I'm not even a yogurt girl, but like, oh my God, the yogurt is insane. So right now I'm, I just picked up some chocolates. I'm still looking for some more uh, postcards for my postcard peoples, my supporters. And oh my god, look how beautiful this area is. Look, I'm standing right in the middle of the train tracks too. Love that. Yeah. How oh, beautiful. Okay, I'm shopping around for postcards for my people who signed up for my postcard program. <laughs> I like to find good ones and not just, you know, any old postcard, you know what I'm saying? They have some pretty good ones. But I want it to be topical, like I want it to make sense. But the location I'm in, oh, that's a pretty good one. This one, I like it. Let's get it. I'm getting individual ones too. I'm not getting a bunch of the same. You guys, it is now several hours later. I came back to my hotel room because 
It was so funny. I arrived. I was not in a good place. I arrived in Switzerland at 4.30 a.m. Could not get a taxi. And so I check on my phone how many minutes walk it was to my hotel. And it said 40 minutes. So I had to walk to my hotel 40 minutes. Got here at 5 o'clock in the morning. Nobody was here but the cleaning lady. She could see how tired I was in my eyes. She's like, oh, okay, um, I can't check you in. She said, you know what? Let me see. And she goes and she's like, you can sleep in the closet if you want to. She said, I am not even allowed to check you in. Because she was just the cleaning lady. And she said, but you look so tired. And she's like, um, she lays out a cover for me and pillows. And I literally slept in the closet. And when I tell you, I was so comfortable and grateful that she allowed me to do that. And then around 10 a.m., 10.30, someone knocked on the door. And it was the reception, the manager of the hotel. And he was like, hey, I didn't mean to wake you, but you can check into your room now. So people here are so sweet. So anyways, um, so most of the day was spent me sleeping because I didn't sleep the night before. Um, so yeah, now I'm in Bern, Switzerland. Tomorrow I'm going to a different part of Switzerland, which is why I'm here. Um, I've never been to Switzerland in the summertime, and I realized that I don't have any time to go to Switzerland for the rest of the summer. So I was like, if I want to go to Switzerland in the summer, it has to be right now, right now, because I don't have time. The rest of the summer I'm too busy so that's why I'm here and there's some stuff I want to shoot in the other parts of Switzerland so yeah but today was just I did my hair because I hadn't done my hair I didn't wash my hair in a very long time because of back-to-back -back traveling didn't have the opportunity so I washed my hair it feels good um, and now I'm filling out my postcards so I'm filling out my postcards um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, so I, I have this thing where if you want to support my channel, you want to support my, my travel journey of me trying to visit every country in the world, um, you can, I'll put the link down below, and in exchange I will send you a postcard every new country I visit. Um, I've been to Switzerland before and Technically, I'm only sending the postcards from my new countries, but I really wanted to send postcards. I've been collecting postcards from everywhere, so yeah, I got some really beautiful postcards, and I'm like doing individual ones. I'm not like giving you guys like all the same postcard. Um, I'm like trying to find really unique, really beautiful postcards from every place I go, so I got some really cool ones recently. Like, I got a lot of these for... I was in Ulm yesterday, which is where Einstein is from, so somebody's getting that one. And then, I love this one, it's so beautiful. Um, I believe this is Lauterbrunnen, Switzerland, which I'm going to tomorrow, I'll be in Lauterbrunnen. So, um, yeah, beautiful, also got one from here at Bern. Um, this one was from that beautiful, the Library of Wisdom I went to. It was something painted on the ceiling that I went to yesterday. Um, beautiful postcard. So yeah, I've just been collecting. I have more. <laughs> Every time I see postcards that are really beautiful, I just get them because it's actually really fun for me. <laughs> this whole, uh... Uh, also, this is Adam and Eve from the ceiling yesterday um, when I was in the Library of Wisdom. The whole idea, I didn't explain that library yesterday. So that library, the most beautiful library I've ever seen in my life, it was designed as a library of wisdom. So on the ceiling was painted all the major stories from the Bible. I showed Adam and Eve, like, the paintings are so beautiful because they're so detailed, like, you see the devil right here. You see Adam and Eve realizing they're naked. You see the snake. Um, you see the animals. You see the fruit uh, in the tree. And yeah, so I got one of these postcards I'm going to send to one of you guys. Um, I got some others too from that beautiful stuff that was all painted on the ceiling in the Wibbling, Wibblingen uh, Museum. So anyways, I'm sitting here filling out these postcards. Oh yeah, this is so beautiful too. This one is literally hard wood. Like how good is that postcard? So yeah, 
I'll send you guys postcards from every new country. If you sign up, and today, if you sign up today for my postcard program, I bought a bunch of these chocolates. I'm gonna send you a, a chocolate, a Swiss chocolate in the mail with your postcard, but it can only be if you sign up within the next 48 hours because I obviously will be leaving Switzerland after that. Um, but yeah, Swiss milk, if you haven't had Swiss chocolate, chocolate comes from Switzerland, they invented it. Uh, before the cocoa bean was discovered in the Amazon and the Amazons, the Amazonian people brought it to Europe to trade, but when they brought it to Europe, they only had it as a drink. They would make a drink from the, the cocoa bean that acted as like an alcohol and had an alcoholic type effect on the body. It made you really horny and um, gave you this false feeling of like love. So that's how the Amazon, the Amazonian people traded it. And the Europe went crazy over the cocoa bean and decided buying it and trading it and got to Portugal and Portugal brought it to Switzerland and Switzerland is the one who made the candy of chocolate. They mix it with milk. The guy, Calle, he was like, oh my goodness, this is interesting. I should mix it with our cow's milk and make kind of like dessert kind of candy and that's how chocolate was made. So Switzerland literally is where chocolate was made. The best chocolate in the world hands down is here. I've tried chocolate all over the world here in Switzerland. So anyways, I bought a bunch of them. If you sign up today, I will send you a Swiss chocolate in the mail with your postcard. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day filling out these postcards and I'm gonna head to the post office early in the morning before I head to Lauterbrunnen and so on. Um, every day I'm picking up new postcards. So anyways, I need to fill these bad boys. Out. Yeah, and thank you guys to everyone who's supporting me. Um, if you tune in uh, and watch me, or if you sign up for my passport program, it's $25 and I will send you a postcard from 70 countries. Um, it's a one-time purchase of $24, by the way. It's not a monthly $24, because a lot of people thought that. It's one-time purchase of $24, and I'll send you 70 postcards from 70 different countries. My last 70. Um, Switzerland was like a bonus, because I've been here before. But anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, for your love and support. Make sure you follow me on my new Instagram at Mary Jane Byram. I kind of like having a new Instagram. Like, yeah, my Instagram got taken away from me because I was posting apparently Afghanistan propaganda. Like, what? But anyways, my old Instagram got taken away from me and I think a lot of people would be upset about that if they were in my shoes. It was part of my job. I had hundreds of thousands of followers um, and I had been, you know, posting Really beautiful stuff on there, in my opinion, for the last few years. And it got taken away, but I actually don't care that much because I just made a new Instagram. And it's kind of fun. It's like kind of like getting a new car. It's like, okay, let's take this baby on the highway. I kind of like it. I kind of like having a new Instagram. I kind of like building a new audience. Although I want all you guys to follow me, you know, like... All of my viewers, I want you all to follow me, but I kind of like building this new... I just like it. I'm not upset.